everyone, let's look at a selection of these to see how people go about doing these sorts of calculations. So let's make a key, and we'll go over some, but not all of these. So to begin with, 91A, how much energy in joules is needed to raise the temperature of 1.3 grams of iron with that specific capacity from 25 degrees Celsius, 25.0 to 46.0 degrees Celsius? So when you look at this, um, you'll notice that for a situation where you're asked about energy and you see a change in temperature, you know you're going to use Q equals MC delta T for this calculation because Q is energy, M is mass, C is specific heat capacity. We'll always either give it to you this way or in the style of this, provide you a chart so you'll never have to memorize the specific heat capacity. And then delta T you can get from just finding the difference between the two temperatures because delta means change and temperature means well temperature. So, um, uh, let's see, what we're going to be doing with this is going through the calculations. So it just asks how much energy, and so we're going to calculate what Q is. So we look at where's our mass, there it is, there's our mass, there's our specific heat capacity, and our delta T comes from that. So we need to show, always write this equation because it's where you're going to start with. You also need to figure out your delta T. Now, we need to make sure that delta T is positive. Why do we need to make sure it's positive? Because you're raising the temperature. This means positive delta T. Because if delta T is negative, that means the temperature goes down. So we need to show work for delta T. You can't just write the number. So we're going to say delta T equals, see, big number 46.0 minus 25.0 degrees Celsius, oops, forgot my units, uh, equals, and that's 21.0 degrees Celsius. Plus, I'll put a positive there, just to make it clear that it's a positive and not a negative number. So the temperature rises by 21.0 degrees Celsius. All right, so we do need to show this work to show where the delta T came from. That is obligatory. Now, once that is done, you can plug in the numbers to solve. So Q equals our mass right there, 1.3 grams times specific heat capacity, 0.45, uh, let's see, joule per gram degree Celsius. Always show units on your work as well as, your, as well as the numbers. And then we're going to times that by the delta T, which is 21 degrees Celsius. So 21.0 degrees Celsius. Uh, remember, for sig figs, ignore for sig figs when it comes to temperature. So just pay attention to non-temperature stuff for specific heat capacity and mass or energy or whatever when it comes to the temperature stuff. So this times this times this. So we grab a calculator and try that out and we get uh, 1.3 times 0.45 times 21. And that gives an answer of 12.285. And what are our units? Gram cancels gram. Degrees Celsius cancels degrees Celsius, leaving just joules. So that would be the energy in joules. And if we're going to be rounding, we have two sig figs, two sig figs. Forget that, don't worry about that number of sig figs. So just two and two. So we've got to round this to two significant figures. So one is the first sig fig, two is the second sig fig. It's next to a number that's less than five, so it's going to round down. So we're going to call the final answer 12 joules. And more specifically, we're going to say 12 joules needed, or Q equals 12 joules, or Q equals plus 12, or something like that, just to make it obvious that we understand that the energy is being absorbed, and Q is a positive number. And with that, when you look at these other questions, you're going to follow the same general technique as was done up here. But let's look at another one now. Example 92A, so you can get a different flavor for a different sort of question. How much energy in calories is released when you lower the temperature of 1.65 grams of water, and it gives you the specific heat capacity from that temperature to that temperature. So once again, we have a change in temperature, and it's asked about energy, so we know that it is Q equals mc delta T. And uh, moreover, we know that we're going to need to figure out what delta T is, and lowering the temperature means we need to make sure it's a negative number, so the temperature went down. So delta T, we're going to subtract these in a way that gives a negative number. So we can force it to be negative by taking the smaller one minus the bigger one. So 36.7 degrees Celsius minus 75.2 degrees Celsius. And when we do that, 
36.7 minus 75.2 is negative 38.5. Oops, 38.5 degrees Celsius. So that's our delta T right there. We're not going to box that. It's not the final answer. It's the same reason we didn't box delta T up here either. Um, but we are going to use that for a calculation. So Q equals the mass. Where's our mass? It's right here. There's our specific heat capacity, and our delta T comes from this. So, all right, we've got what we need. So, 1.65 grams times specific heat capacity, 1.00 calories per gram degree Celsius. It's asking for calories, by the way, so make sure you use a specific heat capacity that has calories. If you used one that had joules, such as this one here, you would be very, very wrong. So you got to watch those units. And anyway, so we're taking the mass times the specific heat capacity times delta T. This is the reason why it's required to show your units here. It's so that you can check that your things are canceling right to give you the units that you desire. And then we're timesing it by negative 38.5 degrees Celsius. And when we go calculate that out, 1.65 times 1. I know I didn't need to do that, but whatever, just to show the process, times negative 38.5, we get negative 63 0.525, and so uh, let me set that aside. So let's put the raw calculator in. So negative 63.525 calories. That's the standard abbreviation for calories, as you can see here. Um, so that's our raw answer. Don't box that because we need a round for sig figs. Remember, ignore these sig figs, but do notice that this has three sig figs and this has three sig figs. So because these both have three, we're going to round this to three. So that's going to become negative 63.5 calories. Why? Because this first, second, and third sig fig is right here. This 5 is next to a 2, so it doesn't round up, which is why it stays like that. Negative 63.5 calories. You could also say 63.5 calories released would be another way to express the same idea. Um, so, uh, actually, let me rephrase that. Q equals just to be clear. Or you could say 63.5 calories released without the negative sign. Either way is fine. But it gives you an idea of how to go about doing that sort of a thing. Now, uh, let's move on. 